you are today. Today is a video I am going to be recommending and going through a few self-help spiritual books that I think everyone should know about or everyone should, you know, read at some point. Um, I, like, when I actually first got back into reading, um, it was like end of 2021, start of 2022, and all I read was like self-help books. Um, and some of these books genuinely like changed my brain chemistry, changed the way that I think, like changed my life for the better. So I hopefully they might be able to do the same for some of you guys. Um, so yeah, but before we jump into these books, please remember to subscribe, um, add me or as a friend on Goodreads and follow my bookstagram. The links are in the description bar below. But yeah, let's just get in to the video. So, the first book that I'm going to recommend, I actually don't have the physical copy with me, so I'm just going to tap on these, but the first, and I'm starting with the, like, one book that literally changed my life, and like, it's the first book I read that then, like, made me go on to read these other books, but this book single-handedly changed my entire life of the better, um, and that is Healing is the New High by Vex King. Like, I owe that man so much because before I read this book, I, so if you didn't know, when I was younger, I was diagnosed with a borderline personality disorder and then also like panic disorder, anxiety, depression. in the past was very chaotic, um, very irrational, very impulsive, and I really, really struggled with, um, like, well, I struggled with a lot, but I definitely struggled with, like, my perception of relationships, um, and being able to, like, rationalise things, and I also, I guess, just like most people, things that I would have in my past, I um, took that trauma with me into my like life as an adult. Um, so my sister, my big, my elder sister, she actually lent me this book. Um, I think it was December 2021. She lent me this book, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna read it, and my it altered my brain. I cannot stress that enough, like, after reading this book, I was a completely different person. So healing is, healing is the new high, is obviously kind of like it says it in the title, it's about, like, inner healing, um, getting past trauma, living more positively, a lot about, um, changing, like, limiting, like, self-limiting, Just, it literally, like, took, like, like, 
some dark clouds and I just washed them away honestly like if you have any if you struggle with like anything like to do with like drama in the past if you struggle with kind of like your self-confidence not even self-confidence but like self-worth um read this book because I recommend this to everyone I've lent it to like so many people literally my bible like i'm not even kidding so yeah the first one healing is a new eye just read it even if you don't read self-help books like read this because it will change your entire way of thinking so yeah that is my first recommendation and i did that as the first one so if you even if you don't watch the rest of the video you know to read that raising your vibration all about raising that vibration so like the energy you're putting out is what you're get getting back um i'm going to talk a little bit more about that kind of thing in some of the, the other books but i do really recommend that book by vex king as well because that is again like absolutely amazing um so yeah thanks vex king he has got a couple of other books as well he's got closer to love which is all about like relationships and then I also had his daily journal last year which was really good um so yeah anyway but healing is the new high I like 100% get it good vibes good life also definitely recommend that so yeah but the next book that I am going to recommend to you is probably like one of the most famous it's like spiritual self-help books out there you've probably heard of it if not read it and that is the secret by Rhonda Byrne this is a book about the law of attraction and I am a true believer in manifestation and the law of attraction i like i've seen it work in my own life like so many so many times and i really try and manifest things as much as possible if you watched my video last year i said that i like was manifesting a house like a house by august and i'm like one step closer to that so strange how things work and I don't say like I'm getting ahead of myself let's start with the book so the secret is a book by Roger Byrne and it's about and it's about the law of attraction which is basically saying that the thoughts that you put out into the universe can, can like alter energy so that is actually what you get in your life um about manifesting those things and it takes you through that through the book it explains it so much better than i just have a lot more eloquently and it gives like examples of how it's worked in action it gives um kind of the evidence of that and it gives you tips on how to do it in your own life um and i'm gonna i'll just read you the back it says you hold in your hand a great secret it has been passed down through the ages highly coveted hidden lost stolen and bought for vast sums of money this centuries old secret has been understood by some of the most prominent people in history plato galileo beethoven edison 
Einstein, along with other inventors, theologians, scientists, and great thinkers. Now the secret is being reve revealed to the world. And it says, as you learn the secret, you will come to know how you can have, be, or do anything you want. You will come to know who you really are. You will come to know the true magnific magnificence that awaits you in life. Um, so yeah, I am a true believer in you can literally get the things that you want in life by literally thinking that, putting it out there in the universe. You know, the energy you put out is the energy you get back, the thoughts you put out, change your thoughts, change your life. That's one of the quotes I like, change my life, change your thoughts, change your life. Um, and I guess like I've said, I literally manifested my first class degree. I manifested like so many like material things that I have in my life. I've manifested money before. I've manifested I'm manifesting like this house. Like it works. You've just got to like believe it and act like it's already happened. Um and I know that some people find that really difficult to like accept or think about, but uh, like it just try it try it for a month or so and I think it's important to understand though that you know some of the things that happen some of the things that happen in your life don't happen the way that you thought they would happen so you know I I say about this house um you know I just said like I am gonna have a house up by August and I didn't know how I didn't think about how and I didn't know or, or like am I gonna come into some money or something but I didn't expect it to come through like my family so some of the things that you manifest can come about in ways that you don't expect um also they might take a while you know it, it might not be an instant thing but if you persevere then you'll see in hindsight how they come about if that makes sense but yeah i find this book really uplifting i remember reading it again like start of 2022 and afterwards i just felt like so aligned if that makes sense like i just felt like like how did i not think about this in like think about these things in this way before and now I try and do it like daily and with all the things I want and I truly like trust in the universe to like know what it's doing in my life and that like everything that's happening in my life is happening for a reason. So that is the secret. So next up we have the four agreements and it says it's a Toltec wisdom book and it's by Dom Don Miguel Ru Ruiz Ruiz super super short another really popular one a lot of the books I'm talking about you know like you've probably heard of especially if you've read self-help books before um these are popular books so if you've got any, like any other recommendations please do let me know but the four agreement is about changing self-limiting beliefs a bit like it's mentioned in healing is the new high and this goes through four steps that you can implement in your life to change the way the negative ways that you think about yourself or things and turn them around so your experience of life is more positive so um the first agreement is to be impeccable with your word the second agreement is don't take anything personally off the things that other people might say about you or treat you are actually like reflections of themselves and projections of their own insecurities their own fears um their own beliefs so yeah that is the second agreement the third agreement is don't make assumptions and the fourth agreement is always do your best again you know your best on one day might be different to your best on the other day of 
obviously this book goes through it in a lot more detail. And it says the four agreements offer a powerful code of conduct that can rapidly transform our lives to a new experience of freedom, true happiness and love. And these books, the ones I'm recommending, are really easy to read and understand. I'm going to do like a quick fire recommendation of some other books at the end. Um, that I won't go into in as much detail with, but the ones that I'm like talking about in depth, they're like easy to understand, they're easy to, to read. They don't, because I know that I've read some self-help books that are like, like difficult to kind of like take in, but these are super simple and can be like applied to your life so easily. And they're written in a non-patronising way. So that is the four agreements. Then we have another really short one. And this is the seven spiritual laws of success. A practical guide to the fulfilment of your dreams. And this is by... Different prompts of things to be grateful for. 
will appear before your eyes. In the magic, Rhonda Byrne reveals this life-changing knowledge to the world. Then, on an incredible 28-day journey, sorry, it's 28 days, not 30, she teaches you how to apply this knowledge in your everyday life. No matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter what your current circumstances, the magic is going to change your entire life. So, I try, when I wake up, the first thing I try and do, as much as I can remember, is think of three things that I am grateful for. And I'll either just, like, say them in my head, or sometimes, if it's a bit later in the day, I'll say them out loud, I'll say them to my children, I'll say them to Jake. I'll ask Jake what he's grateful for. I'll ask my kids what they're grateful for. They don't really understand, like, it yet, but they kind of, they're getting there, so... saying thank you for things in your life, being truly grateful for just even like the most simple of things. Like when I get in the shower, I'm always think, I always think like, I am so like lucky that I get to have this warm shower. When I get into bed, I usually think like, oh my god, I'm so grateful that I get to just lie here in this comfy bed and just relax. Um, and it's just, well, first off, it's a nice thing to be grateful for things in your life, but also it does have that like cause and effect. So yeah, that is the magic by Rhonda Byrne. And then I'm just going to quickly show you three other books that I have read that I thought were worth a mention. Um, these are books stick with me as much as the others but I still recommend them if you are into reading or go on a little spiritual self discovery journey. Um, the first one is The Celestine Prophecy and Adventure, the international bestseller and it's a book that comes along once in a lifetime and changes lives forever, passed from hand to hand, from friend to friend since it's first appeared in small box shops shops across America and it says as you embark on this journey you'll also discover that this remarkable book serves as a guide which not only has the power to crystallize your perceptions of why you are where you are in life but to direct your steps with a new energy and optimism as you head in tomorrow so yeah do you recommend this book I did find it obviously it was a bit like it wasn't as gripping to read as the other books but the message is still very important next is the alchemist by paolo Coelho. Coelho i don't know how you say his last name sorry again very very popular one this is in the form of kind of like a non-fiction book so it's like a non-fiction book with a powerful message behind it it says dreams are made to be followed life is meant to be lived some books are meant to be read loved and passed on the alchemist is one of those books the alchemist is the story of a shepherd boy from the spanish region of andalusia whose journeys to the exotic markets of north africa and then into the egyptian desert where a fateful encounter with the alchemists awaits him so again really short of a slower read but still the message is a very important one a lot about you know what is happening in your life is exactly what is meant to be happening in your life trust the universe and then finally the power of now a guide to spiritual enlightenment by Eckhart Tolle this is the 20th anniversary edition this is all about you know living in the moment um a lot of everyone's fears and anxieties are about things that have happened in the past or things that might happen in the future whereas if you actually focused on the now like right this 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 specific moment everything is probably okay and if it's not okay what can you do in that moment to you know make it okay but um it does say to make the journey into the now we will need to leave our analytical mind and its false creative self the ego behind although the journey 
is challenging. A cart doll offers a simple language and a question and answer form up to show us how to silence our thoughts and create a liberated life. Surrender to the present moment where problems do not exist. It is here we find our joy, are able to embrace our true selves and discover that we are already complete and perfect. If we are able to be fully present and take each step in the now, we will be opening ourselves to the transforming experience of the power of now. Um, this, I would say, is a little bit more difficult to comprehend the way that it's written. The message is simple about living in the now. The message is simple about like enjoying the now and being present and also about kind of shedding the ego, not letting that control your life. Um, but it can be a little bit difficult to comprehend. It can be maybe a little bit more, not patronising, but it's not as inviting as the other books. Um, but again, still, would recommend it. And I do try and remember sometimes, like, doesn't like sometimes when I'm like spiraling, I do try and think like right now things are okay. What can I do now to help the situation that I am worried about? And if I can't do anything, then I just think I'm gonna deal with it when I come to it. So yeah, those are my recommendations. Um I wonder if I've left any out. <sighs> If I have, then maybe I will do another 